Hi everyone, my name is Fabiana and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this checkerboard design scrunchie on your Centro 40 knitting machine. Okay, you can be using as well the AG46 or you can be using the Centro 48 to make this scrunchie. It's just gonna be a little bigger, okay? This one has the size of a palm of a hand. And so let's get started guys and I'm gonna show you all the process on how to make this scrunch. So here is all the material that I need to make this scrunch. And to make this tutorial today I'm going to be using my Centro with 40 needles, okay? You can use also your AG King size and your Centro 48 to make a scrunch. So what type of yarn can you use to make a scrunch on a Centro knitting machine? Well, I would say that your favorite yarn is probably the best because then you know you, you used to use that yarn. But here I have worsted yarn, which is this one. That's the one I'm going to be using to make this checkerboard scrunchie. And I'm going to be mixing with uh, just double knit yarn. Here it is. To make a black and white checkerboard. But you can also use velvet. Just be aware to, you need to decrease a few rows, like around four rows for all sizes, if you are using the velvet, because the velvet has a different gauge, okay? And I have here some chenille yarn. You can use this yarn too. Well, it's basically any, uh, any yarn of your preference, okay? So I'm going to be using this yarn here. And so how long we are going to take to make this uh, Centro Scrunchie? Well, I would say around an hour just to, you know, um, make all the rounds and just finish it all off with the crochet. It's going to be around an hour. And also I'm going to be using a darning needle and a crochet hook. Any size crochet hook is good. And so what type of elastic can you use to make a scrunchie? Um, I like this type here, that's the ones you buy at the shops. And I also like the, the more, more stretchy ones, as you can see the black is much more stretchy than the other colors, so I'm going to be using this one. But you can also be using this elastic here, and just tie a knot on both ends, or just seam both ends with a thread and needle, that should work as well. So you can use this type or this type here. So let's get started guys, and I'm going to start with some waist yarn, so have some waist yarn ready to make a few rounds on the beginning and at the end of your scrunchie. So then to start this scrunchie, I'm going to start working on the tube mode of my machine and weaving the yarn in and out of each needle and I'm going to be using waist yarn for four rows. So just cast on all the stitches. Place the yarn behind the last needle and inside the thread guide. I'm not, I'm going to be using my hand because that's what I normally do. But if you are using the tension holder, just uh, place inside the best spot for you, for your weight of yarn, okay? Make sure you pull and this is way down the bottom there. And then let's make four rows with this waist yarn. When you finish here on the last needle, just stop making it and then let's put the... I'm gonna work two rows with the black. How many rows do you need to make a scrunchie on a centro knitting machine? So you're gonna need uh, around... depends of the size really that you wanna make. If you are making a small scrunchie, I would say 10 to 12 rows. If you are making a medium scrunchie, uh, 14 to 16 rows and if you're making a large or 
very big, you want a very big scrunch, you can make 18 to 20 rows, okay? I'm gonna be making 18 rows for this one, just because I want the checkerboard to appear a bit more, and I want to start with two rows on the black, so it's easier to, um, to bind off the stitches later, okay? You don't wanna make the checkerboard straight away on the first two rows because you're gonna be swapping colors and it's gonna be hard to bind off when you finish your project. So I'm gonna add the black here right in front of my needle. Leave a little bit of a tail just in case we need to bind off later. And then now I'm going to make two rows with the black. Finish my second row, I'm going to make two extra needles, like first and second needle. Put the yarn to the back here, and then I'm going to start working with the white as well. So I'm going to place the white here, because I'm going to be making with the white these two, the third and the fourth needle, and then I'm going to start swapping the colors. To swap the colors like this, you're gonna need to hold the yarn with your hands like I'm doing here, okay? So two with the black, two with the white, two with the black again. Make sure all, it's always very tight, otherwise you have two big loops on the back there, okay? Then swap, swap, swap. And then when you get to the first two needles, you should be right on top of the two black ones because we're just going to repeat the same row. So I'm going to repeat this row and then I'll come back with you because we're going to swap the colors for the third rows because we are going to have this um, checkerboard design here, okay, that I have here for you guys to follow. So I made two rows already. I'm here at the last two, in the last two needles. So now I'm going to make four of them with the white. Because remember, I need to swap the color. So the first two, instead of having black, they're gonna have white now. And then I'm gonna put the black after. And then from here, just repeat. Where you had black, you should have white, and the, the other way around as well. And so I'm going to make two more rows with these colors, with this uh, exchange now, and then two more rows like we had on the first one. So we're gonna have, again, the opposite way. And I'm just really following this chart. But then, after the six rows, I'm going to make two in black, so I'll come back with you guys there. Okay, so now that I fixed my drop stitches, I can make my two rows with the black. Okay, so two rows, and now I'm going to start working with the black and white again for more six rows. So I'm going to make the last two with the black, and then I'm going to add the white, so the yarn's not too far from where I began the row. And then I'm going to swap exactly the same way I did on the other side, okay? This is going to be the second side of the, of the scrunchie. And I'm making six extra rows here, and then two with the black to finish, okay? 
And don't forget to put that second uh, yarn outside to start working with it, okay? It can't be inside the... After you finish the last checkerboard row, just cut the yarn here. And then I'll be making two extra rows with the black. And make around five rows with the waste yarn so you can remove it after, okay? I made four rows, but you can make five to see, four to six, it doesn't really matter. And then just make two full rows without the yarn. Now, before we start binding off this crunch, you will have to flip it inside out very carefully because this stitches on the other side, they can open quite easy. And so, just make sure you pull the stitch a bit before you make a knot. And what I normally do is I just make a little knot just like this to secure these ends. If you want to make an extra knot or something, you know, uh, it's not very necessary because we are going to close it all after. And here where we had to skip four stitches, remember to make the changes from this row to this row. What I like to do is just cut this in half, make sure the stitch is tied on the other side. And then just make a knot here. That's what I do if you have any other way of doing that. And that makes a, a smaller loop. Otherwise, the stitches are going to be really, really large at the end. And if you see on the front any other stitch that's too large, just make sure you pull it a bit and arrange it before you go to the next step, okay? So now grab that elastic that we had and just place inside this crunch like this. And so let's start right here. Okay, so we will be working with our crochet hook to grab these stitches. So I'm going to start with these two right next to where the to where the tail is, because we need the tail to finish after the last. So I'm gonna be making this and then going to the second one like this. Just make sure you grab each one of them and don't miss any. And this is the reason why I made two solid color uh, rows at the end, only because it would be too hard to bind this off if I had the color changes as well. So just repeat this all around your scrunchie and then I'll come back with you to show how to just finish it off and rearrange so it's it's all nice and neat. There, and then all I'm going to do is just 
pull this inside this. So you actually don't need a very big tail. And then just gonna unravel this. So this is how it looks like now. What I'm going to do is make a knot there. Make an extra knot here. And then hide this yarn tail on the back and cut it off. going to measure to show you guys how big this one is 14 centimeters in diameter or five and a half inches something like that also there you go guys this is our checkerboard scrunchie i think it's really cool really little project and it just gives um little bits of a different effect to the normal scrunchies so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys I'm also gonna leave this tutorial as an article as a blog post on my knittingmachinepatterns.com website if you want to go and check there for other sizes or print or anything like that it's gonna be available there for you guys okay I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I see you on the next on the next week in the next tutorial. Thank you guys for watching.